Dehydration, blood loss, and low amounts of water in the blood can cause blood volume and pressure to decrease. In response to declining blood volume or elevated blood osmotic pressure, neurosecretory cells in the posterior pituitary release antidiuretic hormone. In high concentrations, ADH can also cause vasoconstriction in the walls of arterioles. The narrowing of the lumen in these blood vessels raises blood pressure. ADH binds to the principal cells forming the walls of nephron tubules in the kidney, stimulating them to synthesize water pores and thereby increasing the permeability of the tubules to water. The reabsorption of water reduces water loss from the body, increasing blood volume and returning blood osmotic pressure to normal. ADH binds to the sweat glands. The secretory activity of the sweat glands decreases, lowering the rate of water loss through perspiration. Increased release of ADH causes water reabsorption in the nephron tubules of the kidneys, vasoconstriction of smooth muscle in arterioles, inhibition of sweat gland secretion. The total result of these actions is an increase in blood volume and pressure.